Hey guys, welcome to the losers match for the third set of Nate MSL Group 3. We're going to have Best going up against Light. And uh, I'm sorry, this is the winner's match, Best versus Light. Take that back and we'll see how this works out. Best is going to be starting in the upper left hand corner and Brown was like, wait a minute, these are the guys who won, right? And we have, it looks like Best starting in the bottom left hand corner as the yellow Protoss. Is this on match point again? It almost kind of looks like match point. Actually, let me check what this is in the background. I think it's Ultimatum, which is kind of an odd map altogether. They kind of, what does it remind me of? I want to say it reminds me of kind of the old school, well, it, not Andromeda, map prior to that. Zodiac, it kind of reminds me of Zodiac a little bit, except, um, yeah, a little bit more goofy. So anyway, we'll see how it works out. I don't know how it's going to work out Terran versus Protoss. It feels like it's it's fairly mobile. There's definitely some critical points where Protoss needs to defend, but I think they have some good resources to do it, and I think basically what you're going to see is Terran trying to get early position. Uh, because That's the thing, though, is Vulture is actually going to be very effective in the mid-game, but I think what we're going to see in combination of is mid-game heavy six factory pushes, um, maybe even four factory pushes with uh, just basically heavy Vulture harass out to deny that third in the mid-game, and then trying to get just established position from there while Terran's taking his third and maintaining the economic advantage. So I, I think you're going to see Terran play a little bit more aggressive rather than passive on this map just because of its architecture, and then it's up to Protoss to try to hold on, hang on. I think uh, carriers are viable on this map, um, but... But really, uh, I feel like Arbiters are kind of the better option just because there's a lot of points where you can kind of get the recalls in. There's a lot of areas kind of you can see. A, if I could show you the mini map here, well, I can show the live viewers the mini map right there. Um, d I am doing these live casts, by the way. If you check out Twitter, I'll try to announce it there. Also, if you hang out in either Joe.2IRC or SC2GG IRC, which is uh, if you just go to SC2GG.com backslash chat, that'll take you th there, or otherwise, if you're on IRC in, at large or on Game Search. Looks like a pretty standard opening here um, from 4GG, and Best is scouting bottom right-hand corner first, not going to find anything. But anyway, there's a lot of points for, specifically, I, I feel like Arbiter Harass uh, into the mid-game, or even Reaver Harass, if you're going to just try to transition that uh, into the mid-game, um, kind of into the mid-game option. I don't feel like the heavy troop thing, just because the distances works out very well. And uh, But it's kind of, I guess, a dichotomy thing. But ultimately, I think what you're going to see is two base Protoss play, and again, Terran being aggressive after that to try to push it. So it kind of behooves the Protoss to maintain, specifically keeping an eye on the Terran troops as they're moving out. If you're going to go heavy Dragoon early off two bases, you really need to be at a forward position. And it's kind of a precarious slot because I don't feel like there you can really seal off the lane just because of the architecture. I feel like Terran, over the natural secondary, can actually open up a lane for the Vultures to get out kind of the backfield. So you need almost a lot of additional Dragoons to do any sort of early game pressure, which is why I feel like Arbit this game is, or this map in particular, is almost completely built around mid-game Arbiter rather than uh, late-game Carrier. But, you know, we've seen crazier things. We'll see what Best is up to. Best, again, a macro beast. Pretty solid in all of his matchups altogether. It looks like he's just gone for one gate uh, range, and uh, I assume into tech here, because he needs to press that tech as quickly as possible. Looks like we're just going to see a single factory into expansion, which is very easy to uh, to take and very uh, hard to harass. That's the other thing is, is when you're in a position like this as Protoss, where it feels like it, it almost feels like a hard dichotomy, which I feel like kind of works against Protoss on this map again. It feels like a lot of these maps are kind of hard on Protoss, but you're at a dichotomy where you've got to put pressure on your Terran opponent because he's just got such an easy to hold natural second. You almost want to force him to put down turrets early, so maybe you want to open up with the Reaver, but immediately after that, you've got to get your Arbiters out in the, in the field, because otherwise you're not going to be able to get any semblance of map control, and it looks like best solution to this is actually to try to for <laughs> run up and get some damage done early, and catch, it looks like he has managed to catch 4GG a little bit off guard, with that with that probe actually doing a little bit of damage as well, as if he's coming off the line, and this will provide, uh, not quite able to get that Marine, this might provide that a bit of time he was looking for, essentially, and that Marine not going to be able to... Ooh, might be able to get that probe. Um, looks like that Dragoon just trying to go SCV hunting as best he can. That Marine might be able to pick off uh, something. That tank uh, being a little bit delayed because that command center going down, I think, before that machine shop was. I'm um, in a probe actually trying to sneak through. Oh, not quite able to off the pylon trick. Able to pick out that Marine, but there should be. Yeah, there's the tank now. So this attack is going to have to back off. But um, still somewhat worthwhile because the four SCVs had to come off the line. It's not going to be enough economic damage. But Best continuing to be aggressive here. He's got two more Dragoons uh, right there on the front line. It's not going to last very long, though. Um, again, because, yeah, Siege across the 
that corner can be very deadly, but just with these two Dragoons, that single Zealot, he's going to try to take map control uh, early here, and it looks like they're a little bit of defense. That tank finally getting siege up, so now those Dragoons going to have to back off, and this is this is what I was talking about. You can see how how much territory that covers, just that single siege tank. If you put two siege tanks there, it's almost ridiculous, and you can see how that opens up that lane for the Vultures if they're moving, because there's another... Uh, there's kind of another lane out to the right, so you'd need a ton of troops to defend against this. Second gateway, a robotics facility. So it looks like we are going to see um, probably a transition into Reaver Harass uh, at the very least. I wouldn't be surprised actually to see a Dark Templar drop, because there is a lot of wide open room to the north. Uh, so anyway, and...